Start a new Blender project and open up the motion tracking panel. Then import your footage, set its frame rate, set scene frames and prefetch. Tick normalize and change location to perspective. Then begin control clicking on points of contrast and patterns to motion track. Once you've identified a decent amount of points, select them all and track forwards from frame one. Then head to the solve panel, set refine to nothing and solve. Delete any high solve error points until you have a very low solve error, something around point two. Select three points and set these as the floor. Find a point in the center and set that as origin, and then set your scale by selecting two points that are roughly a meter apart. Then bring in a cube and flatten it to the thickness of your surface. Bring it down to surface level, head to the shading panel and delete the principal BSDF material. Import an image texture material and into that plug in a texture coordinate. Connect this from the window output and then in the image texture open up the scene frame that you're on. Then with your object selected go into edit mode, select all faces, press U, UV unwrap. Bring in another image texture node and don't plug it in anywhere. Select both the surface and the image texture, head to film, set your viewport and render samples to 1, make sure you're in cycles, and then scroll down to bake and bake. Now we have our object with the surface texture baked onto it. To hide the distorted texture at the edges, duplicate your surface and delete every face in edit mode apart from those facing the camera. Set these surfaces that are covering the distorted texture to hold out. Go into top down orthographic view and start drawing cracks onto your surface with the annotation pencil. Then with the cell fracture add-on enabled, press F3, search for cell fracture and set it to annotation pencil. Set the recursion to one, material to one and set a collection for your pieces. Select all the pieces on the outside and move them into their own collection called passive. Then go to object, rigid body, add passive. Then select the pieces on the inside and set these to active. If we bring in a cube with rigid body set to passive and put this below our pieces, then our pieces won't fall through. Select one of the active pieces and in the physics property set it to start deactivated. Then with it still selected, select the rest of the objects in the active group and set these to copy from active. Bring in an object and set it to rigid body active. Now we have our completed scene. Thanks for watching.